What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Tactical Pineapple, we're going to flip the script a little bit. We've been talking about things that everybody seems to talk about that you need to conceal carry properly, but that I don't really feel like you absolutely 100% need. And today we're going to actually flip that, like I said, and we're going to talk about things that I 100% think you need, but nobody seems to fucking talk about. All right, y'all, now before we get into it, this is the part of the video where you fast forward 42 seconds and then you enjoy the rest of the video if you don't like to support the channel. But if you do like to support the channel, first and foremost, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, do all of those fucking things. It matters to us. We're here for you. We're here to have fun. We're here to have a good time. But we're also here to gain subscribers, have more of a conversation with you guys. So, um, there is no sponsor for today's video other than TacticalPineapple.com as usual. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So as you probably could tell from the thumbnail and maybe even from what's sitting right here in front of me, uh, one of the big things that I don't think people seem to talk about enough is medical, right? I'm not saying that individuals need to be trained paramedics in order to be able to carry, uh, a firearm or, or engage in self-defense properly but I do believe that an individual should have a certain level of training to go along with what essentially they believe is going to happen in their life so um, this here is a bag from lightning products it is not a sponsored product I have no connection or affiliation with them um, it's a good place to start if you are looking for a go bag for essentially a paramedic um, there's a lot of things in here that if you don't have medical training though, you are not going to understand how to use. And that'll go to another topic that we're gonna get into another day, which uh, will be go bags and get home bags and bug out bags and stuff like that that are generally out there as purchased as a complete kit type of situation. And it may not always be good, but um, just real quick, like some things that are in here that you're probably never going to use or never need to know how to use. Uh, NPAs, uh, these are definitely something that if you have them, just because you have them doesn't mean you know how to use them and definitely doesn't mean you should. Um, an NPA is a nasopharyngeal airway. It is something you need to have some sort of medical training to be able to use. I personally have about seven different sizes of it. I'm trained in uh, first aid, paramedic, uh, first responder duties. Uh, this has lived in my car. It has lived in my house. I have a couple of things all around the places. So um, I understand medical. But I'm not talking that you need to get into that. I'm not. I'm also not talking about knowing how to apply a Band-Aid, right? I think we've all figured that out over the fucking years. Um, if you if you don't know, you open the package and then you peel back the, the the plastic labels and then you apply that to the wound and then without actually touching anything, you use the plastic wings and you slide them across, which applies even pressure both ways and and it actually puts it on. Um, for a couple of you that probably just went mind blown you never even realize that you always take those little fucking things off and then apply it we well, are doing it wrong stop it that's wrong you're an asshole <laughs> if that's the type of person that you are you're the person that I'm directly talking to you need to gather yourself a little bit of medical attention um, gather yourself a little bit of information about medical attention and, and what actually goes into it um, I know there's a lot of people out there that are good trainers, that are good people that are talking about it, and I'm, t you know, the carry trainers, the the Warrior Poet Societies, they do talk heavily about medical. Uh, Skinny Medic is another great one, uh, great one for resource, also a great one to buy products from. He does sell only the best stuff, so. Uh, Check them guys out. I'm not definitely going to be the guy who's going to train you in how to apply medical equipment, but some things that you need to keep in mind are, you know, what you carry with your EDC, right? So everybody goes, well, I got my gun, I got my keys, I got my wallet, and I got my phone. Check. We're good, 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 good. Well, uh, I, I would challenge you to say you should have a tourniquet, a, a good fucking tourniquet is worth its weight in gold. Uh, if you ever are in a situation where you need a tourniquet and don't have one, there are ways to fashion some. They're just not going to be as good as the rest. Now, do not buy them from Amazon. There's too many knockoffs out there. Um, this one in particular, I believe, is actually a knockoff. Uh, I haven't actually checked it. 
Um, this was one that was given to me as a gift. It's in the home bag. I have other tourniquets in here. I have cats. I have rats. Um, I have little kids. So I, that's why I have multiples. Uh, this just happened to be the one I grabbed. But the other thing that you should definitely understand how to use is a chest seal. These are worth their weight in gold as well. If you get shot in the chest, you get stabbed in the fucking chest, it hits your lung, you have yourself what's known as a sucking chest wound, which means you are losing oxygen into your chest wall, into your you know, chest steel cavity. You need to seal that wound or you are going to suffer some major fucking problems before you get real medical attention. I always carry one of these along with me. It is something that literally lives on my person because it is something that it, it really does matter. Um, I've used one of these personally uh, in application on a construction site by somebody who was impaled by a piece of rebar. It matters. Um, granted, I wouldn't have had to use it had he not been dumb and pulled it out, but the reactions that people have during traumatic events sometimes are unpredictable, right? So um, this is something that's huge. Um, it, it, it's worth its weight in gold. Definitely learning how to apply it matters. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go over how to actually apply it, but this is just some things that I've been talking a lot about things that you don't need to carry properly. And I did want to kind of touch on some things that I do believe you do need. Um, medical, I believe is something everybody should have a little bit of, should have a little bit of understanding of how to use some things. And there are some few basic things that you should absolutely have. I'm not saying that you need to have this giant kit. I'm not saying that you need to even have this. Um, I personally have mixed surgical sutures, right? Why would I have that? Because I'm trained in how to use them. I know how to fucking suture. And one day I might need it. Uh, particularly like the day I cut my fingertip off in a fucking table saw. But um, then again, I still just use fucking super glue. So... That has been the video for today, folks. I'm not going to bore you with too much more of this, but definitely there are individuals out there, Skinny Medic, Warrior Poet Society, Carry Trainer is a great one with their S12 events. Uh, if you want to get some actual practical medical mixed with combat training, um, there are guys out there who are doing it, um, which goes back to my video yesterday. I said you don't need training. You don't. You don't need specific operator training, but there are other trainings available that are worth their weight. Um, and I'm not going to continue to harp on it. So um, get a little bit of medical help, um, you know, as far as training goes. Um, if, if Obviously, if you have a fucking wound that needs to be taken care of and you didn't understand how to put a Band-Aid on, definitely seek med professional medical attention. Uh, 911 is actually a thing. It works uh, for the most part. So... <laughs> I, I appreciate you guys hanging out. If you made it this far, you're fucking rock stars. Remember, like I said, go down below, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, do all the fucking things. It matters to us. And if you do want to support us, www.tacticalpineapple.com. And until the next time, folks, this has been Tactical Pineapple, and you have been fucking fantastic. Carry your pistols. Brandon fucking hates them.